The International Air Transport Association IATA has called for reduction in taxes and airports charges. The global airlines regulatory body, in a study released at the weekend, said higher airport charges and taxes could deny passengers full benefits of cheaper air travel in the next 10 years. The IATA study indicated that many airports across the globe have increased charges and taxes astronomically in the last few years, with statistics showing that international passengers departing from 13 African airports are charged between $40 and $85. Included in this group are major destinations, such as Accra, Abidjan, Ouagadougou, Nairobi, and Antwerp. Djibouti, the study said, has the highest charge of $89 per passenger departing and arriving, adding that at other nine airports, passengers are charged between $30 and $40. Within the European Union EU, it was observed that the United Kingdom UK still has the highest flight taxes with an adult holder of economy short haul ticket flying from a UK airport, paying $20 in tax. For a first or business class ticket, the tax paid goes for as high as $41. Despite the critical role that air transport plays and its significant contribution to the economies of African countries, government's policymakers continue to view air transport as a luxury service for the elite, the report said, stating that directly and indirectly, air transport supports about 6.7 million jobs in Africa and contributes $67.8 billion to the gross domestic product GDP. Despite this, many African governments and airport service providers burden airlines and passengers with high taxes, fees and charges, the report said. IATA's Director General CEO, Alexander Dajuniak, said airlines, like all competitive businesses, are in a constant struggle to improve efficiency. Europe's airports, however, are largely insulated from competitive forces. Europe's light-handed airport charges directive has failed Europe's travelers and its own competitiveness by letting airport charges rise. He said tighter EU regulation is needed to stop airport monopolies from taking money from the pockets of travelers to reward investors. The goal should be economic regulation of airport monopolies that is an effective proxy for competition, promoting efficiency while protecting consumers. In that regard the voice and interests of airlines, airports' main customers should be carefully listened to. This will ensure effective regulation that will broadly balance the interests of travelers, investors, citizens and economies he said. The trend of increasing private ownership of European airports, he said, adds urgency to the situation, hinting that since 2010 the number of European airports in private hands has almost doubled.